Hello. Oh, 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 man. Terrible start to an intro. All right, everybody, welcome back. So today I uh, found a new little trick that I want to show you, uh, and it's how to create some sick atmospheres, much better than the previous ones I did. So uh, let me play a little sample for you. This is what we're going to end up with. Pretty neat, isn't it? So uh, it's very easy to do, not very difficult. So um, this shouldn't be a long video. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so this is compatible with any sound. So it doesn't have to be an instrument or a sample like one or the other, it can be both. So um, I'll do it with both examples. So first we'll use a piano because I feel like that has a really nice sound um, in general. So uh, I'm gonna find a preset in Nexus, usually something like this. So we have the note of F in there. What you're gonna to wanna to do is add that instrument to your mixer, then go to slot one over here. And what you're gonna do is add Fruity Convolver. And so then Fruity Convolver has this excellent preset in there. If you click this top left little thing, go to presets and go to the very first two, you have blur pink and blur white, go to blur white. And so now the Fruity Convolver is applying um, this reverb shape to this little note here, which will now elongate the note and it's gonna sound much more blurred and faded than it originally did. Crazy, right? So now what we can do is add some really cool sounds to this. And so um, one thing I like to do is just kind of, so what you're gonna do is just kind of draw in some notes in whatever key you want. So I'm gonna just use the key of F minor for this example. So I'm just gonna go like, halfway on every bar here and just draw in F minor keys. All right, so I drew in my random notes. And so now we're going to have something like this. All right, so that's our start. So that's like a nice little background layer. So what you're going to do next is go ahead and go into your sample library. And uh, if you don't have samples, this is going to be a little bit harder, but what you're going to do is you're going to find a nice vocal sample. That's like an acapella relatively somewhat near the same key of whatever chord you're making. And you're going to take that and apply the same technique that we just did. All right. So we're going to use that vocal sample. It's a little silly, but it'll work for now. So uh, now what we need to do is we need to take these little patterns here and we need to loop them like I'm doing right here. So now they're looped. Uh, I'm working in the key of 150 BPM. And so uh, that shouldn't matter too much, but um, it is gonna be important for this example because we're gonna make a bass note for this atmosphere. So now uh, we just apply the same technique that we just did. So go over to um, your slot one, add a Fruity Convolver, blur white, and now you're gonna see this vocal has become very, very ambient. So it's not finished quite yet. In order to make this and really bring it to the next level, uh, we're gonna have to add some bases. So I'm gonna draw a sub in with this square and I'm gonna draw a base in. So let's go to the key of F, which is this one right here. And then we're gonna find uh, the nice bass note under the F, which is uh, C sharp. And I'm just gonna go up uh, I'm gonna go up two semitones as that, I don't even know. I'm just gonna to go to D sharp and then F. So now we can place those notes in there like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and we're gonna make a re-space now. So I'm gonna go into Serum, activate both oscillators, take the unison to 16 on the left side here and uh, make it quite detuned. So you have something like this now. And so now we need to go to oscillator B and we're gonna turn this into a square wave like so. And this one's gonna be a little less detuned, but you want 16 voices on it. And so now we have this. And so then copy and paste your bass notes into the re-space, add both of those to the mixer. And now I'm gonna load my sub bass patch and my Reese patch. All right, so there's our Reese. So now we can put that under the pad and we have something like this.
So now it just needs a little bit more of that extra push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some atmospheres from the Soundstorm sample pack volume one, and I'm just going to add those on top to kind of give it that extra layer and make it quite quiet. And now we should have something pretty nice.